Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with another Rugby League World Cup, the final review for the pool stages of the competition. If you didn't know, I have been following Samoa, Tonga and PNG. And we just got done watching the Kumuls take on the Welsh for the last match of the pool stages. And as many predicted, Papua New Guinea quite comfortably get past the Welsh. So as for the actual match itself, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a tough watch. The discipline in this game was a... Uh, reserve grade stuff from both sides um Papua New Guinea like I said it was a comfortable win but they they sure did uh make a bit of a mess of the match itself they could have easily rolled through the middle of the Welsh pack and at times they did but for some reason they chose to play dry weather footy in the pouring rain so as you'd expect plenty of errors were made plenty of penalties conceded on both sides of the field but I can't help but think PNG could have doubled or tripled their score if they applied the kiss method they keep it simple as opposed to the flashy style we used to see them playing they can get away with it against a team like wales but coming up against the english in the quarterfinals that discipline's going to need some tightening up for the welsh this game they were uh, they were disappointing themselves i was kind of hoping heading into this i uh, like the cook islands or as tongans i was hoping that the welsh would start how they've been starting these last couple games and that's are defensively solid and just flat out aggressive not defensively solid as in not leaking many points but they were thumping blokes to start matches in the previous weeks but i get the feeling that maybe this game they just ran out of gas they looked a little weathered a little fatigued and we're talking about png here let's not forget they are elite maybe one of the best when it comes to physicality so i guess trying to match their aggression that is much easier said than done but yeah the story of the match pretty much poor discipline with like five minutes to go Papua New Guinea more than doubled the errors of the Welsh. Wales made seven errors to PNG 16. That was with five minutes to go. So amongst the chaos, there were a couple of standouts for me. Epape did look good once again. I thought Justin Ollum looked pretty solid. Back to his barnstorming best. Nixon Put got man of the match and he was my man of the match as well. And the other usual suspects in Wellington Alberts I thought looked hectic. And Alec, Jacob Alec. For the Welsh, I really dug their centers. Will Evans and Elliot Keir. We talked about Keir last week, but Will Evans, uh, he looked pretty solid actually. Tough carries, and he somewhat held his nerve in defense. All right, so that wraps up the pool stages. Bit of an underwhelming finish. If I am being honest, the week as a whole was a little underwhelming. It was the week of the blowouts and it delivered. Now we welcome the quarterfinals and it is stacked. In a couple days time, I'll be going over my picks for the quarterfinals, but until then, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run and share that like button. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you. Later.